Hey, it's Pasty's Prime here, and welcome back to Eden Crafters Ocean World Prologue. So, I have finished making the parts for the second, uh, the warehouse tier two. Uh, I'm contemplating where to put it. Maybe, you know, yeah, we might put it right here. I don't know if it's getting a bit crowded, but, you know. Let's have a look at this sucker. How do you... Mm. Ooh, it is... Uh, yeah, it's very... Uh, very big. I don't know. Is that going to flatten it out? I'm a bit worried it doesn't. Uh, let's see what it does. Hmm. Okay, I mean it... Yeah. Not really. That is... Oh, it hasn't finished building it yet. Joys! Alright, well what we can do is we can fix that. Get up here. Mm -hmm. Steering wheel. No, turn the other way. Okay, might have stuffed that tree up, but... Yeah, I think this is going to be better to go around the planet because it's a lot easier to drive than the uh, the spaceship, that's for sure. Okay, that's that. Uh, we've got nothing feeding into it, but, you know, just start 40 computers? Holy crap. Okay. Oh, uh, jeez. All right, we need to, uh, yeah. All right, we have no choice. We're going to have to start. We're going to have to start automating stuff. We can't. I can't stand there and build that for that long. <laughs> it's going to take way too long. Um... How are we going to do it, though? We're going to end up with massive spaghetti. Hang on. So we need to start... I need to put one of those down to see what we do. Yeah, because, I mean, we really probably should start automating this stuff. So even to do that, I need a computer, which requires 10 circuit boards.
Okay, so let's put... Let's have a look. What do you got? So big. Okay, so I don't think I'd do the battery cell, although I don't, I'm not going to do anything with sulfur, but we could do, and probably not the controller, but definitely the rotor. Now, saying that, we should probably have automated gears. Okay, let's start with circuit boards. Now, this is where it gets a bit tricky. Now, if I want to do gears, though... Let's do that first. Let's have a look. So, gears is just iron rods. So iron rods are going into there. Need to make gears to do what I want to do. To make gears. It's funny. Alright, we'll put it. We'll put it down here. of a loop everything will cross over there we go we should get some gears going into that warehouse all right now we need copper plates and silicon this is going to be really fun because there's copper there's copper plates there and 
And then silicon's going to be all the way over there. And you can't feed out of a warehouse. Well, not that I can see. Oh, I wish it didn't delete the whole thing. And I can't do it because I haven't got any circuit boards because that's what we're trying to make. So it must have been going in there, right? I hope so. I think I have room for this. Where did it... Here it is. Okay, you... Gonna run along here. You get into there. We gotta find the silicon. It just got to be right this one, right? I'm assuming it is. Or silica. Silica. Imagine having to maintain this. Good luck to you. I wouldn't want to be the bloody trade guy trying to work this out. car to get off this <laughs> okay uh, you just got a little bit rammed up there Copper plates coming through. What's happened? They're going through there? Oh, shoot. Which way's in? Is that in? Oh. Ah, damn. I stuffed it up. 
Hang on, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Well, it's giving the silicon time to get silica to get there. Wait, why are you even going backwards? Will, will you fix if I do this, or are you going to be? Broken. Will that fix it? No. Wait, why is it all? What are you? Go away. Oh my god, why is it all... Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, that's only one component. Basalt concrete, okay, yeah. You want 400 of that, but we only got 270, so we need a lot more storage. I also want to do the rotor. Oh, I want to... No, hang on. I want to do the iron beams. I need at least another two of these things. Okay, circuit boards are coming. We can help it along.
Okay, I can see from here. So if I say iron beams, we need plates and rot. Oh, bloody rods again. Oh my god. Hell of a splitter. I'm glad these conveyor belts don't really care where they go or how they function. Now, where's... Is that the plates? Mine plates. Uh, oh yeah. How are we going to split that? Can I get a splitter in here somewhere? Exit from there. So how much can this store? Wonder just wondering if we move the basalt. Is this the basalt? No, that's cement. Oh the basalt's all the way over there. Okay, I think it'd be easier if we just upgrade the storage. Cause it seems to still count. Hopefully that's working. We're waiting for the plates, which are on their way. Right, and then you... I uh, was looking at doing the rotors. Cable and rubber. Well, that's a good bit of variety. All right, well, there's the rubber looking horrendous, and there's the cable. Rubber we can split. Can't really see. It's 
something like that. Alrighty, we gotta deal with the wave first. What happens if I sit in the car while it does it? Come on, hurry up. I'm not going to sit in the car because I don't want to risk something bugging out. And ruining my gameplay. Okay, we are back. Yeah, we're losing our place for power now. I mean, I would do something a lot more better with the power and put it somewhere else entirely if I wasn't going to lose it all the time. Now, I think somebody said that you can put them up higher. But uh, that was a long time ago, and I don't know. Do I trust that or not? Because I think, what, in the first episode or whenever I played first, I did have it up halfway up the hill, and they got wiped out. That'll do. All right, what now? What were we doing? I was fixing those conveyor belts. Let's go over here. Okay, so, uh, not that splitter. Oh, we had a splitter there, but we had another one. Yeah. And that was, was wire, I think. There it is. Okay, take you in. And then take a standard into there to get the wire in. And then you are going to somehow defy the laws of everything and get into there. Alright, and now let's do the rubber. You 
you're going to come out into there. Then you're going to come out and join to there. And then you are going to do a very sharp turn. Okay, so we can see that we've got circuits, we've got some steel beams, and then hopefully we're going to have some rotors coming through shortly. All right, and then we need to go fix. All right, I'm not going to stand here watching it. It's definitely. Oh, hang on. Let's just wait. Let's see. Do it. Make sure it works. Two in. Whoop, there it goes. Producing the rotor. Sure. We'll see it come out the other side. Perfect. Okay. Now. Hasn't reached the building yet. Does that update while I'm in there? No, now it does. Okay. Uh, I mean, this would have avoided... Using these would have avoided... Um, Two inputs for conveyors and 27 slots. Probably could have solved having so many splitters if we had to put them in. be the basalt I think sure would be all right now and that's feeding through the rock into there of course it is what else would you do with it I hope that's connected properly. I cannot tell for the life of me because it goes through a rock. Alright, just have to wait for that to all catch up.
Is that not there yet? It is now. Alright. So that's got to fill up. Man, those wind things being so together looks like a deadly weapon. So this is the next step. We could automate the computers or I could just do them manually. Have a look at how difficult that would be. Now it had wire, which should already be being split here, so we could easily take a conveyor out of there. But then you've also got to take split from this. I mean, it's doable. Alright, we need one computer to at least do it, though. Okay, split off of the wire. It's here. Probably would have made more sense for that to do it, but since organization is out the window with this, who cares? Computer.
so the basalt is not increasing. So does it only count what's in the warehouse? Because if so, that's a slight problem. We, I mean, we. Mm. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The hell's that? Nine, three, twenty-seven. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't matter what the storage is before and after. Ah, uh, damn. Okay. Uh, 270 and 270 is what? That's enough. Okay, because if I take that and I steal this other channel... That would be enough, wouldn't it? Well, we'll find out in a minute. Yeah, I didn't need that second storage. That was a waste. But, well, it allowed me to get two feeds. I could have done that with a splitter, though, but... Take that. Let's make some more food. I'm still curious to why you would make that. This is 50. That's 20, right? I get that we had to make that early day, right? But once you unlock these, why the heck would you make that? It only restores 30 and it wastes quartz. This doesn't. So if you didn't do that, you use the same amount of organics as that. So this one uses two extra organics. That doesn't, but uses quartz. And you only get 10 extra health. I don't see the point. Alright, well the basalt's definitely going up. Computers are going to take a while. So... Okay, my only problem with driving this around is... What happens when it goes flat? Or... Do I have to... No, I can't make more of these because I need sulfur. I guess we could fly over to that island, couldn't we?
Any secrets? Wait, what's that? Hang on. Get out for a second. Oh, I don't have oxygen in this. Oops. That is sulfur ore. Does that mean there's going to be a mine here? Hmm, okay. Um, yeah, this doesn't give me oxygen. The spaceship would. Okay, I need to get back. There's some sulfur over there. Okay, so there's another cave there. Well, the basalt's done. we just got to wait for the iron beams and the computers. Rotors are also done. the one I saw around here. Where the hell was it? Is this the only way to get sulfur ore? Basically you just have to find it and if once it runs out, it runs out.
and there's no way to charge batteries. Not only is there no way to charge batteries, they literally disappear. Jeez. Okay, good to know. So I didn't need the three batteries for the actual spaceship. Um, I guess you could fly with one, but then you got no backup. Okay, so how do we determine... Atmosphere is 4.6 oxygen. Okay. So I think if we look at tasks, we've still got that, but... Yeah, let's go inside and read this. So we can escape from the point. This place to do. You need to build some nuclear energy cell to be able to travel a long distance with your spaceship. First, try to locate some sulfur to create some more basic vehicle cells. Yeah. Uh, so I'm guessing that's the hint. Okay, and the other way to do it. We do all of these steps, which is what we've done. Oh, interesting. We've done every single one of these steps, except this. Hundred and eighty sulfur ore. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, um, what's our plan here? I think our plan is, is that we have to go to another base. I was told if you got to 20%. Or maybe 20% would just meant you didn't run out of oxygen or something. Looking forward to this. Yeah, up, yeah, up. Do I go up? I'm pressing space. Oh my god, is it inverted? It is inverted. That's what's throwing me off. Uh, 
I don't know what's over here. It's a freaking sulfur deposit. Okay, so if I build one of you, you give me oxygen. Electric panel distributes electricity to indoor equipment. Yeah, I don't think we actually need it, but... So it doesn't count there being any power. Wait, is that uranium? Well, that's going to be a problem. Bloody wind thing, a uh, wave thing comes, we're in trouble. Hang on, I don't think that's the one I want. I want the workbench. Are you kidding me? Iron ore? Now, does it have access to everything? Seems to. Uh, what was I going to build? Oh, I have no idea now. Um, no, it wasn't power. Oh, it was a warehouse. problem we're going to have is a wave is going to take out our power in both places. Yeah, 
You know what I'm worried about with that? I'm gonna wipe out resources. Uh, there's nothing here. Well, I say that, and then that. <laughs> It needs filters. Okay, I need to do a slight extension. No. Turbine, isn't it? Come on. Oh, and here comes the wave. Come on. This is the worst thing ever to fly. I don't know how to land this thing. <laughs> Where am I going to end up? Okay, let's uh, dismantle all this. All right, there goes that, and you can recall the ship.
Oh. Nuclear energy cell. Very high capacity energy cell for, space, cell for spaceships and other vehicles. Okay. Oh, high capacity battery. When equipped, it extends your battery capacity to allow for more time between running out of energy. Oh, we can make that for ourselves. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we're going to have to look at that stuff in the next video. Right now, we're going to get wiped out. And while that's happening, we will end the video because we're running out of time. So this game is still getting interesting. I'm liking it. I mean, it's an absolute mess from a logistical point of view, but I'm glad I don't have to try and sort those conveyor belts because that would be horrendous. So I'm glad it's forgiving in that way. Um, to me, it makes the game more fun. Not realistic, but more fun because trying to sort all those out, trying to move everything around would be an absolute nightmare. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and everything else. Uh, feel free to give me tips, tricks, and advice without story spoilers or anything like that. And if you are enjoying the content, please do consider subscribing. Hit that like button and check out the channel membership if you want to support the channel further and get early access to these videos. Say hi in the comments. Let me know you're watching. I read all the comments and answer them all as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. There is no high place to survive that wave. Look at it. <laughs>